Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how we wire up an encoder to a Siemens S7200 PLC and how to make a simple program with it. Let's first go through the wiring of the encoder. First we will need 24 voltage DC to power up the PLC. Depending if we use a PNP or NPN encoder we will need to either connect 24 voltage plus or 0 voltage minus to the 1M terminal. The encoder I am using is an NPN encoder. This means it sends out 0 voltage signals from the phases. So in my case I will have to connect the 24 voltage DC to my 1M terminal. From the encoder I am using there are 4 wires. Two wires for the 24 and 0 voltage DC. Then two wires for the A and B phase. From the red and black cable I want to connect to the PLC's 24 and 0 voltage DC output terminal, which will give power to the encoder. And the A and B phase we can connect to any of the digital input terminals on the PLC. I will connect them to digital input 0 and 1. This is basically how we wire up an encoder to a PLC. Some encoders also have a Z phase. That phase will pulse once per revolution of the encoder. But we can also just make the same thing by programming. Now let's do the TIA portal programming. First we want to go to Devices and Networks tab. I have added a PLC to the project already. So we want to click on our PLC to open up the Properties Settings tab. Then we click on High Speed Counters tab and choose HSC1. Here we find a box that we want to check to activate this high speed counter. If we scroll down a little we can choose which operating phase we want to use. Since my encoder have both an A and B phase I will choose A slash B counter. If we scroll down even further we will get to the high speed counters addressing. It is set to 1000 by default. If you want to change it you can do that but I will keep it as input address 1000. Next we want to go to our PLC digital input settings and change how fast our input 0 and 1 can read our signals from the encoder. We want to change it from the standard 6.4 millisec to 0.2 millisec on both channels. Now let's go to the main block and do a little coding. To find the high speed counter block we open up instructions tab. Then under technology tab we find a map called counting. If we open that one we will find the block we need. Just drag it to the programming rung. On the HSC input we want to open the option list and find the HSC one that we added earlier. I will keep this really simple and only use the CV input. This input will reset the encoder to zero. I will add a reset memory bit and a comparator function that makes once the encoder counted up to 1800 pulses it will reset itself. The encoder I am using counts 600 pulses per revolution. So after 3 revolutions the encoder will reset itself. Let's download the program and test it out.
Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.